Fra Marco Luzago was a man who was faithful to the Pope and deeply loved the order, which he supported with humility and a spirit of service in these moments of hard work and troubled waters. May his honesty now be an example for everyone, especially those charged with responsibility. With these words, Cardinal Silvano Maria Tomasi, the Pope's special delegate to the Sovereign Order of Malta, gave his final greeting to Fra Marco Luzago, Lieutenant of the Grand Master of the Sovereign Order of Malta, who passed away on the 7th of June 2022. A procession of mourners, led by Monsignor Jean Lafette, started from the Church of Santa Maria a Laventino at the Magistral Villa of Rome took place in silence and was greatly moving. They reached the Basilica of San Bonifacio and Alessio, where dozens of people, including high prelates and representatives of the Grand Priories of the Order, representatives of the Italian institutions and accredited embassies, as well as operators of the Relief Corps and citizens joined the family. During the Mass, the Gospel of the Beatitudes was read which, as Cardinal Tomasi pointed out at the end of his homily, says to men of goodwill, Rejoice and be glad, for your reward in heaven is great. Born in Brescia 72 years ago, Fra Marco Luzago was admitted to the order in 1975 in the Grand Priory of Lombardy and Venice. He graduated in medicine and held numerous positions of responsibility until he was elected to the highest office of the Sovereign Order of Malta on November 8, 2020. In his telegram of condolence, His Holiness Pope Francis expressed his wish to recall Fra Luzago's relentless total commitment in carrying out his last office at the head of the order and also his love for the Church and the work of testimony to Christ. At the end of the solemn funeral of Fra Marco Luzago, Fra John T. Damlap took a solemn oath as the new lieutenant of the Grand Master in front of Cardinal Silvano Maria Tomasi and the leaders of the Order of Malta. The appointment came on June the 13th on behalf of Pope Francis, thus allowing the Sovereign Council together with the Pope's special delegate, to carry out the process of constitutional reform of the Sovereign Order of Malta.